Hi everyone, my name is Leanne and today we are going to be talking about the most common sound in the English language. Now, I want to talk about this for two reasons. Um, number one, very, very few people who are learning English know about this. And I think if you want to have really natural pronunciation in any accent in English, you need to know about this sound. And number two, um, it's just really interesting. <laughs> I love talking about this. Um, I really enjoy uh, teaching pronunciation and, and helping people to improve their pronunciation. So today we are going to be talking about the most common sound in English, which doesn't have its own letter in the alphabet. How strange is that? Okay, so, um, you know, in English, we have A, E, I, O, U, and these are the five vowels. And we know that in English, it's it's a disaster, right? Like these five vowels have more than 20 different sounds, okay? But many, many, many times, A, E, I, O, U are pronounced like this. Uh, uh. I'll give you a really, really easy example. This word, the pronunciation most of the time is the, the. Another word is this word. We say again, uh, again. So this sound is called the schwa. So the schwa is a sound. It sounds like this, uh, and it's represented by A, E, I, O, U in syllables that are not stressed. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about this, but I don't think we need to focus so much on the rules here. I'll explain them to you because I think it will give you a good idea. But realistically, I think the two most, well, the three most important things are that you know what the schwa is. When you're listening and sometimes when you see a word, you can identify the schwa and then you copy it and then you memorize words. So you know that you're going to say again, not again or again. It's again. Already, if you listen to yourself speaking, you'll hear that you're probably making this sound a lot of times, but probably not all the time. And this is one of the major things that can really affect your pronunciation. So let me give you an example. I was talking to a student recently and they told me, they said to me, the principal problem, the principal problem. And I understood, but I'm like, oh, just there's something not right. And then I listened. I'm like, oh, it's because that person said, Princey, principal, principal, princey. And actually in English, we say this word principal, prince, uh, there's the schwa sound, prince, principal, principal. Now, why? Well, maybe you don't need to know why. Maybe you can just remember principal and that's it. So for all of the words that you hear and you hear this sound, you can just memorize it and then repeat it. That's sort of like the easiest and most natural way, right? When we are babies and we're learning English, we don't learn about the schwa, right? We just hear our parents or whoever, our siblings speaking and we copy, right? Of course, that's the most natural way to do it. But when you're learning a language as an adult, it's, it's a bit different, right? We're not babies. We don't have brains that work like babies, right? It's a, it's a different situation. So yes, just by listening and copying, perfect. But also I want to explain to you for your adult brain <laughs> why this is happening, okay? Schwa is, the rule I'm going to tell you is not 100%. There are exceptions. Hello, it's English. But for many, many, many times, many, many, many words, the rule applies. So when you have a word with syllables in it, one of the syllables, one of the syllables will have stress, right? One of the syllables will have more stress. So if we look at a word like that start with again, it's again, the stress is on the second part, again. We don't say again, we say again. So the stress is on the second part. In that syllable, usually A, E, I, O, U will sound like a vowel, like A, E, I, O, right? With some variations. The first syllable is not stressed. It's lazy. It's a lazy syllable, right? In the lazy syllable, the, the vowel gets lazy. And instead of saying A, we say A. Uh. We don't say A, uh, A. Uh. So in a syllable, 
that is not stressed, the vowel gets lazy in English and it comes into this very, actually very boring sound, uh. You don't really have to do anything. It's just open the mouth and push a sound out, uh. That's it, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say some words to you and I want you, I'll give you like five seconds, look at it, say it, repeat it, identify the schwa. Sometimes there's more than one schwa in a word, okay? So let's do the examples right now. Number one, family. Family. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Fa, a. That's the stress. Family, right? The stress is at the beginning. So that A is a very traditional a. Fa, fa. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So what happened in this lazy syllable here? Fam, family, not fami. Fam, family, family. Okay, that's the first one. Number two. Support, support, support. The next one, which I think is number three, um, any word that has T-I-O-N at the end, so option, question, portion, fiction, sh -un, sh -un, fiction. So the shun contains a schwa. So there are many words in English that finish with T-I-O-N. So yeah, I'll put those all into one category. And I just gave you the answer, but hopefully you could hear it was at the end of the word. <laughs> Number four, cousin. Cousin. I have many cousins. At the beginning, c uh, cousin, cousin. Number five, president. President, not president, not president, president in the middle syllable there. So, pre, eh, like a more traditional vowel. President, president. Number six, Canada, Canada, or more Canadian accent, Canada, Canada, Canada. Schwa, schwa, at the end, ah, 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 Canada, Canada. Number seven, idea, idea. That's a great idea. At the end, idea, uh, the schwa is at the end, idea, not idea, <laughs> idea. Okay, guys, so. I think that's everything I would like to tell you about the schwa. I hope now you understand what it is, what it sounds like, how to make that sound, how you can identify it, how you can repeat and copy. And then from now on, just keep practicing, keep, keep memorizing, keep listening. And now you're aware of it, you might start to make some changes to your pronunciation in English and notice that you sound more natural, it's easier for people to understand you, you feel better about your English. If you have any questions, please message me below. I'd be super happy to help you. Um, and if you want more English, check out some, some of my other YouTube videos or over on my Instagram at leanne.teaches.english. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.